You're watching the Cooking with Jack show. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Jack Scalfani here. It's the Cooking with Jack show. Today, we are doing a skillet carnivore pizza. Now, just to let you know, any of the carnivore recipes I've done on the show and I will do on the show will be keto friendly, low carb friendly, or carnivore friendly. It'll cover all of them. All right. All right, here we go. Going to do the rundown. Got some, by the way, it's so funny that in the recipe it said green yogurt. Tampa are in the store looking for green yogurt. We're going, what is green yogurt? It was supposed to say Greek yogurt. So we got the Greek yogurt or the green yogurt. Got the mozzarella, got the eggs, a little bit of pepperoni, hot Italian sausage. Cream cheese, Parmesan cheese, Italian seasonings, okay? So let's throw this all together and show you how to make it. So first thing you're going to do, I always tell you, brown your meat. Get that all brown. Then we'll start on the crust. And for those of you who love to preheat your oven right away, 425. Okay, guys, so let's do the crust part first because we're going to get that bacon, get that solidified before we put the toppings on, okay? I'm going to start with the, this is the green yogurt. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. It's the Greek yogurt. Okay. Three eggs. Put that in. Dropping it all together. Cream cheese. And mozzarella. And by the way, mozzarella. That's how my mommy said. Okay. So I'm going to not show you me mixing it because it's going to require a food glove. We're going to get in there and mix it really good. I recommend a glove over like a spoon or a fork. Okay, guys. Before we put our batter in, which looks like that. It's kind of like a batter. We're going to drop some butter in. We're going to butter the pan real good. So nothing sticks. Nice. Uh, this is gonna, I think this is going to come out good, guys. Feel good about it. That's why I chose this recipe. Okay, now... You're gonna pour this in. So it's gonna look something like that. Go ahead and cook this at 425 for 20 minutes, then break it out, and we'll put the topping on. Okay, so this is the spot that everybody does something different. Some of you may put marinara, some of you may make a buttercream sauce, some of you may not do anything. I personally I'm not using marinara, I'm not making a buttercream sauce, but I'm just topping the crust. The flavor from the grease from the sausage and pepperoni ought to give me enough. Okay, so let's start with Parmesan cheese first, just a little bit. We're going to use the rest of Parmesan on top, but I just want to get some on the base. I like the cheese on bottom, personally. Okay. Then we're going to take this. And generously. There you go. Now we're going to top it with the meat. Wouldn't it be funny if she gave me the exact amount? She just grabbed a pinch. And I think she did give me the exact amount. Well, I got one more here. Move them over there. Right there. Yeah. Looks beautiful. All right. Now let's do the sausage. T 
take the last bit of Parmesan, sprinkle that on top. Then we're going to just for ha a lot of carnivores won't do this, but I do seasoning. Little tiny seasoning on top. Maybe some red pepper flakes if you feel wild. But I think that's perfect. Let's give it a shot. We're going to pop it in the broiler. Three to four minutes. Go by eye. Don't go by time. Once it gets melted and bubbly, you're good to go. We literally did just three minutes. And it got a little crispy on the edges. It looks beautiful. The cheese is melty. The pepperoni bubbly. We're going to let it cool down before we cut it. So we'll see you in a minute to try this out. All right, guys. This pizza looks better than the last pizza. We're going to keep going until we perfect it, just like the carnivore bread. Let's try this out and see if it's any good. Okay, can you tell I'm kind of excited about this? I think this is going to be pretty good. I think. Now, I don't have any sauce on it, but I could have made, once again, butter, cream, cheese. Melt it on the stove, coat the crust, then top it. But I didn't. I figured I'd get enough flavor from everything else. This is really good. This tastes really good, guys. <clears throat> I got enough flavor from the sausage. I got enough flavor from the pepperoni. It's all over. It's delicious. Really good. Give it a try. Let me know what you think, all right?